I'll tell you what's changed. Now when I look at the report, it says that people believe people. And and that means they believe anybody. And that's how we are today. Uh, you know, when we try to buy a product from Amazon, we read all the reviews, but we never see who's written the review or we never click on that profile to see what other things has he bought or who is he, etc. None of it matters. What matters is the review. Yeah. Influencers hence have become so important today because people are just following to get a quick advice from the right people immediately. Now, I also said from the right people. So what's happening in the influencer space is look at how we are using social media today. Social media and social platforms for the longest were about, uh, you know, following what's happening in the life of our friends, family and all of that. But today the consumer has changed again. Today, social media platforms are following a set of influencers. And that's the side, you know, kind of influencers I follow. So if you go to your Insta account, you will have, you know, about five or 10 influencers and you'll constantly see content from them. And you'll constantly follow only those 10 people. And once in a while, someone new will get added. Very rarely, you'll unfollow an influencer. And that's the power the influencer holds. Now that friend circle has become an influencer circle for me. That's the kind of guy I keep following all the time. For brands, it's extremely important because these influencers are obviously influencing people. But the important thing over there is how can that influence that they're creating come out as authentic? When the content comes out as authentic to people, then the believability is very high. When the influencer is not trying to sell me a story, but he's trying to just tell me a story, is when I start believing in what he's what he's advertising. So again, uh, and again in the influencer world also, everybody's an influencer, you know, today. Everybody's trying to grow their fans, followers, and they're just, everybody's trying to influence somebody. So there's a clutter there too. So for brands, it's become important that how do you influence the influencer itself? Influencing the influencer is a key motto for us as well, where we try to convince the influencer first that this is a great product for the TG who follows you. And we go to those influencers whose TG matches the TG that we are going after. And hence a curation of influencers becomes critical. And then convincing the influencer that this is a great product becomes critical. When he's convinced, automatically authentic, honest reviews come out of him. Uh, how do we do that? Well, everybody is doing it the same way. They're writing great briefs. They're calling influencers. They're doing product demos for free, gifting products. Everything is happening. For us in the media and entertainment space, of course, previews, reviews, everything is getting shared with them. Uh, they're doing exclusive reviews as well. They're being called in to see content. All of that happens in the media space because they need to be convinced first. And once you've passed that level of influences, then you start doing it with your consumers also. Because like I said, everyone can influence someone so the consumer starts becoming an influencer or he becomes a flag bearer for you so you start developing him then with so much of you know knowledge about your product that it is the right product for him and his tg that he starts to write authentic uh, reviews for you 